This week, the Kyle Police Department says it arrested five people linked to a human smuggling operation. Police say the suspects brought a group of people across the border illegally, then held them for ransom. As KXN's Sarah Alsheh explains, if this sounds familiar, this is the second time this has happened in Hayes County this month. A little over a week ago, Police say the men kidnapped at least 10 migrants who were smuggled into the U.S. from Mexico. KXAN reported about three people arrested in a human smuggling and kidnapping investigation by the San Marcos Police Department. Now on Wednesday, yet another case, this time in the city of Kyle. Five adult suspects holding five adults against their will, demanding ransom money from the family members of those five victims. These five men are charged with engaging in organized criminal activity and trafficking of persons. In both cases, the suspects are accused of holding people smuggled across the U.S. border for ransom. Those individuals that they pay are actually the ones that are turning against their customer, the one they're bringing further into the United States. A victim's family member told police they were asked to send $7,000 electronically for the release of their loved one. Kyle PD tracked down the home and safely freed the victims. The Hayes County Sheriff's Office says location plays a factor in why we're seeing this happen in the area. IH-35 runs right through um, Hayes County. The amount of criminal activity that comes up and down I-35 is, is, is pretty startling and human smuggling is all part of that. It's a crime law enforcement says goes underreported. Fear of deportation, fear of arrest. In this case, a victim's relative reached out to Kyle PD for help, something Barnett encourages others to do as well. Being a victim of crime uh, should take priority over their other concerns. We don't want people to get hurt. Sarah al Shah, KXAN News. Kyle PD notified federal agencies about these victims. Law enforcement now has their information and addresses where they plan to be in case the DA's office needs to reach out to them about this case. Well, today, Texas First Lady Cecilia Abbott joined the Texas Advocacy Project to talk about how to better address human trafficking. She joined the group and Texas business leaders to discuss how domestic violence, human trafficking, and other power-based abuses impact their business and the corporate community. The First Lady highlighted House Bill 2313 that went into effect at the beginning of the month. That law requires rideshare drivers to go through training to know to how to spot the signs of human trafficking. But she says everyone should be aware. I believe that if we continue to work together to protect and defend the victims of human trafficking, we can eradicate this heinous crime once and for all. And another bill that became law on September 1st is Senate Bill 1527. That law increases penalties for traffickers that use excessive force. It also enhances child pornography sentences, flags driver licenses of people convicted of human trafficking, and adds protections for victims with disabilities.